Firstly, Jermaine, uh, welcome to the club and uh, how did your first half an hour on the pitch go? Yeah, I mean, like, I was just couldn't wait to obviously get out there. Um, obviously, uh, it was a frustrating result, um, especially for me to be my debut. And I think it was a matter of 20 seconds after I come on we conceded, so it's always tough. Um, not how I dreamt it, but um, yeah, like, the gap is coming, do you know what I mean? The lads have been doing well. I think it was 14 games before and I had it lost, so you know I mean, I'm still on top of the table and kick on from there and get to Macclesfield on Saturday. Yeah, that's the thing, and this, the, the test is now going to be how the team bounces back. Yeah, I mean, like, there's the, the change of the um, been bouncing around for a, a while now, they've been doing well, there's good togetherness in there, so yeah, it's uh, testing times, but um, I'm sure um, they've been in this position before where they've lost and bounced back and gotten another run. That's what it's about. Um, can't get our heads down. Um, obviously, still top of the league. I think South End took drop points today, poorly drew. So, yeah, um, just have to crack on the Saturday. What made you want to come to Cheltenham Town? I mean, yeah, um, like, I've known a few players in this league. I mean, um, I've obviously, playing against these guys, they play football. Um, I know one or two players, and uh, I know Pack, and a uh, really good player. So stuff like that encouraged me. Um, um, after I spoke to him briefly, and, that, and he sold the clubs, and, and that, like, um, as soon as I heard the interest, I went to get down there. And I think it's a well-run club and going places. And I'm pretty sure that obviously, if we keep doing well, keep picking up results, and that, and put this one behind us, um, looking to get promotion. What did the manager say? I guess whatever he said to you when, before you were about to go on, very quickly went out the window. Yeah, um, he just said, um, this guy and obviously ch um, get at them, do the best sort of thing and try and lick us a goal. And, you, know, you want to get on and try and make it 1-0 or have an impact or something. And it's, it just hurts when, as soon as you go on, like 20 seconds later you can see. And after that short you can see it again after. So it's just a matter of um, just doing your best and trying to get a goal back. But um, it, was, it was a bit direct after that, it just didn't happen after that. You got you had a few little chances though to uh, to have a run at them and uh, I thought you had you had a shot in the box which I thought was cleared off the line wasn't it? Yeah, um, I didn't catch it quite right. Um, a bit disappointed with how I caught it. Um, the circumstances, I think I might have pulled it back to one one. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I had a few runs at the full back and that um, in the half an hour I was on. I thought I'd done pretty well. But yeah, that, like I said, I just want to get my head down. Um, still settling and I've just come up here. So yeah, the lads have been great and. Yeah, just more performances, um, obviously, I like that from myself, trying and get more and get a couple of goals as well. Now you see the system that Cheltenham play with Kai Mahoma plays on the on the left and presumably you might play on the right with the three in midfield. Do you think that'll suit you? Yeah, I mean, I uh, was speaking to the gaffer before coming here and I like the look of the formation and it suits me down to the ground that um, when they get the ball, um, as soon as we're in, in possession, high and wide and obviously not in possession, we can go as a five off in tucking and that. So yeah, it suits me most similar type of player likes to get players and that. I know the fans, like one of the fans' favourite players as well. So yeah, um, just want to obviously get that game on Macca's and get going again, see what I can do. One thing that uh, one thing that has happened for Cheltenham a lot is that there's been a lot of goals from from, from around the team. So you're looking to contribute for, to that as well. Yeah, like it wasn't like that all the shot. It was um, really just had one guy. I think he was on 12 goals, and no one. The next one was about five goals. So around there, even in training, I mean, some of the finishing is frightening. So, so there's a lot of good players. Who, um, can score goals from all over the place, and that's nice. So yeah, I just want to come and add to that and help them get a push. What's the feeling in, in the dressing room after after today's game? Is it just take this one on the chin, move on to next week, or is there you know, is there a little bit of soul searching going on in there? Yeah, well, they're a bit down. Obviously, um, it's been it's, it's like a first loss of a bit, and it's a, I think it's the manner in which we lost as well. I don't think um, we were really at it. Um, we're buzzing around today. It's always a hard one. I think uh, Bristol got a new gaffer, so they we knew they were going to be that extra, give that extra ten percent. Um, and it just I don't think um, all of our uh, some of our key players were on it today. Uh, Gaff was saying. So yeah, um, but you, like I said, um, we'll go again Monday training and we we'll get back on it. And it's obviously it's part of the game. So good thing is we're still top of the table. So uh, we can keep going and then get into the game on Saturday. Thanks, Jermaine. All right, Jermaine, you had, you had a good game here last week uh, for Oxford. Did you have any idea at that point that Charlton were interested? No idea whatsoever. Um, I just obviously wanted to play well. That like, game. Um, um, focus to try and get um, a result obviously for the shots and a bit desperate result and then obviously um, spoke to the gaffer I think it was the day after that he got permission to speak to me and as soon as I heard it I was um, interested uh, like I said it's a well run club and you know, I mean the way they play and that so considering where they were in the league it's nice to go from where all the shots were to Cheltenham yeah. yeah I'm happy to be here yeah tell me a bit about your background you've got a few non-league clubs haven't you and uh, where, where did you actually start out um, I started out at um, two in the Mitcham I was there for a little bit as a youth firm. so I've always been flirting around non-league I was at Staines for a bit after that and then I went on to Ashford Town uh, played the season at Kingston so I haven't really settled um, but yeah I played at a few non-league clubs and that 
um, and then like obviously um, the thing all the shot um, under Kevin Dillon at the time he signed me and yeah and I've been doing quite well there been a, had some good times obviously United and that so yeah um, tried to make a statement obviously in League 2 and, that, and to be at a club that could be possibly League 1 is um, feels like has been a bit of a to me. Yeah, did you ever, did you always think you had a good chance to get into the pro game eventually, even though it came to you quite late in the end? Yeah, there's always that in the back of your mind that it is getting late on and that. But um, yeah, you keep working hard, you get yeah done, and you get your rewards. And obviously, at all the shot, I tried to obviously um, do my part there, even to that lot last week, and then end up at Cheltenham. So you just go to show in a matter of weeks, football can change. Yeah, tell me a bit about the United game because uh, you know hopefully you can crown the season promotion, but that will always be a special moment for you. I'm yeah, sure. like at this stage, yeah, I know these guys had to Tottenham and that, so yeah, that must have been big. But yeah, Man United, um, see players like Owen and that standing in the tunnel next year, and that it's just it's just an experience. And yeah, I played quite well. I think got man of the match that game, so, I, so it was a game that like I'll never forget. And the atmosphere was um, to none and that, do you know what I mean? We lost, but um, it's a memory that I'll never forget. And it just hopefully more to come in the, in the competition next season. Yeah. Who was marking you in that game? For um, it was Fabio. Fabio, I made sure I got his shirt and that. Uh, I tried to get him if he didn't want to know, but yeah, um, yeah. Like I said, like I'm just, I do, I don't. I'm an Arsenal fan, so I was a bit, I don't really like United, but yeah, playing against them, you can see why some of them are at where they are, like some of the movement and the football is frightening. But yeah, um, hopefully that's in the past now. It's just a memory, and hopefully some more history and memories to be coming in. Yeah, you're a London lad, aren't you? Born and bred. Do you know much about this? I know been here obviously for football. Do you know much about this area of the country? Yeah, um, to be honest. I don't know, like um, I don't know anything about. It. I've always a um, few people said I struggle at it because I've only ever been London, but um, yeah, it's a part of growing up, and it's, I'm looking forward to the experience. And lads have been brilliant um, this week. Obviously, I'm going to try and obviously get myself more settled and just obviously sign so I'm in no retirement. But yeah, um, the place looks nice. It looks quiet, um, and yeah, somewhere like I'm really interested in obviously getting somewhere to stay down there. But yeah, it's new and looking forward to it. Yeah.